guess where I'm at. I'm at the Tempe Town Lakes. Tempe Town Lake, a top destination in Arizona. Tempe Town Lake is an engineering marvel that protects the region from flooding, provides recreation, creates jobs and stimulates investment in Tempe. More than 2.7 million people spend time at Town Lake each year. The economic impact of Tempe Town Lake since its creation is about $500 million. Dozens of special events happen at Town Lake annually, including Ironman Arizona, the Fantasy of Lights Boat Parade and the state's largest Independence Day celebration. More than 5,000 people work at the many business surrounding Town Lake City of Tempe Community Services, Community Development and Public Works Departments work together to keep Town Lake beautiful, fun, safe and thriving. And oh my god, it's been more than a year or so ago, and now they're redoing part of the lake on one side. Take a look. Town Lake Western Dam Replacement. The city of Tempe is replacing the inflatable rubber dam system at the west end of Tempe Town Lake with a new, hydraulically operated steel gate dam. The new dam is on schedule to be operational by December 28, 2015 with work on the dam and associated projects beginning on June 4th. It's the Tempe Center for the Arts. So, yeah, let's take this one angle here. That's the bridge up in that area. Sorry for the wind, it's kind of windy out. I love this weather. Right now it's about 75, 76 degrees right now. Okay, let's take another angle of this construction that they're doing. Take a look. But we know it's constructing. Okay, guys. Let's go. Uh, I get this wind. Let's take a look over the other side of this bridge. As long as I don't drop the phone or the camera. The construction guys there. And that's the airport. Further out, that's the airport. You can hear the planes right above me. It's nice. It's it's really windy, I shouldn't complain. Kind of cool, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see the other side here. It's windy, I apologize. This is the area where I hike. The plane, the plane. Hey, I did a clip the other, earlier today, and uh, it's called Scorpion Gulch. Scorpion Gulch 2014. We stopped by an abandoned structure called Scorpion Gulch over the weekend. This was once a trading post in South Mountain, selling jewelry, leather goods, Oreos, Indian-made items, sodas, and candy. History. In 1936, Lunsford purchased for 100 feet of frontage. He personally hauled the rock and built the store with living quarters attached where he and his wife lived and operated the business through 1966. In the 1970s, it became a bar. According to the Phoenix Historic Property Register, Scorpion Gulch was listed on the Historic Preservation Register in October of 1990. Hey, I'm out on a small walk here, and this is Scorpion I've been here, it has been years ago. This whole thing had a roof on it, 
raptors are right there, if you can see. Small little raptors, and there was a roof on it. And it's not there now. I'm going in the back area. The wishing well. I guess it won't sit on the picnic table. Okay. Sorry about the light. I'm just doing this. It's been a while since I've been up in this area, and my favorite spot for just walk around and see what's new, what's changed, and things like that. And uh, a lot of things has changed since a couple of years ago. This whole place used to have a roof on it, but they tore it all down. Maybe it's a safety issue. I'm not sure. small area up there for me to walk under. You can see? Not much. No building. Okay, let's just walk through this small little, this must be a small room here. There's more information about this place um, that you can check on the web. You know what I mean? This is the other side for me from coming over the other, through the back part, so. 
This is the back area. Okay, so that's this is where I just came from, right there. I just can't believe the whole roof is gone. Again, I think it's just more of a, a safety issue. That's my thought. And here's the other part of the building. This is looking out toward the west. Let's take a look at the top up here. I'm not sure what that was for. Of course, they must have put this pole in for support. That's my thinking, of course. As you can see, to pull down the, hold up the building. And if you look out through one of the windows, there's another view from the back area. Side of the building. Let's get another view of this from this angle. So it's about 75 degrees at the moment. I love the weather. It's nice walking weather. And for someone that wants to have a nice walk and, and have the temperature feel awesome, sunny. Here's the other view of it from the side. Now, looking at the very let's walk by this small another view of the other side of the building. So let's go. Again, this is where I go once in a while. It's my favorite spot. I mentioned it before. And I hate this wind. Sorry, guys. No, just another angle.
Well, I'm glad you guys came by and walked with me through this place. Again, I think it's awesome. And I'm sure there'll be other changes made, of course. I just can't believe they actually took the rafters off of this. I think it's more of a safety concern, basically. But times change. So I guess I'll meet you at, at another area another time. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. So how'd you guys like that? It was interesting. It's a vacant building, but um, just something different. And I was there years ago, and they were uh, uh, had a roof over that building. And I think they took the uh, roof off the ceiling area because maybe it was a safety concern because it was uh, deteriorating the wood and the rafters. And I think that's why they uh, took that off. But it looks so different. Years ago, it was a roof over it. Even though it's vacant, uh, it was interesting to go through this. And I'll put a link uh, to that uh, building um, that talks more about that. You know, be down at the bottom of the course. Dugouts. Okay, let's keep walking. You guys can follow me. You guys can walk with me. I love it. The only drawback I don't like about this because it's windy. And if it's that irritating, I might have to dub it. But for now, let's enjoy what we're doing. It's sunny. Not a cloud in the sky except there's a plane that drives by me. Waterfall in front of the uh, Tempe Art Center. Take a look at this. It's kind of relaxing. It's nice up in this area. Shady. Ah, the wind cut down. Thank God. Jesus. I hate when it's so windy. Bugs the crap out of you. Sure it bugs the crap out of you too. Here's another view of the little courtyard here in front of the uh, Tempe Art Center. Oh, that was nice. Let's have a sit. Let's sit right here and get comfortable. I'll sit right here. Ah. I like the water up in this area right here where it just makes you relax. It's peaceful. And of course, you know, people are in school right now. I thought there'd be more people up in this area, but not, oh, there's the, the bridge I was just on just a while ago. Again, I think they're probably redoing the other side of the bridge there. But that's okay. If it's an improvement, that's fine. Who cares? Okay, let's start walking. Follow me. Okay. 
Let's do this. It's a long walk, but it's enjoyable because of the weather. And uh, there's another bridge. I think that's where the train crosses. Sorry about the plane up there. Okay. So, hope you guys enjoyed the clip of that uh, vacant building that they kind of partially torn down. Hope they'll tear the whole thing down. It used to be a, I don't know if you saw that fireplace on that building there. There used to be no rocks in there at all, but someone put rocks in there. I'm not sure why. And then that, uh, that well, there's rocks in there too. I don't know why they put rocks in there. I don't understand. That's okay. Maybe because of snakes. Okay, everybody's riding the bike. I should have bought a bike. That's what I should have done. And, uh, I don't think. It's very irritating, you know what I mean? I might buy a bike. I might. I keep saying that on my other previous videos. I say, I'm going to buy a bike. I'm going to purchase one. Never do. WTF. Seriously. Okay, guys, I think that's about it. I need to get some food in my tummy. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow us on Marketplace Videos, which is on Google Plus and YouTube. Again, thanks for watching.